Hello guys, what's going on? This is John, Johnny Podcast, John Hitbox, uh, you can call me pretty much anything, but welcome to Minecraft from the Valleycraft server. And uh, today I really wanted to get started by saying that uh, I had a lot of progress done. I did a lot of stuff uh, via stream, so if you want to check me out on, on uh, Beam, it's uh, Beam Pro uh, John Hitbox. Uh, so you can check it out there, do a little bit of live streaming. Uh, sometimes I get carried away and I do a lot of builds without doing any update videos, but that's all about to change. Uh, so let's get started here, but first I want to take a look at this bridge, and this is a spoiler-free zone mainly because he had just, out of time gaming, uh, as you know, he's uh, he's the guy that runs the server, and he was doing a little bit of work over here, and he already posted his video, so I know we're safe to do this. He's been working on this awesome bridge here, as you can see here, it's a kind of a broken down, worn out bridge. Uh, you can tell this land maybe used at one time used to be thriving, but it's kind of, kind of tapered off a little bit, but it looks really great. Look what he's done with some of the stone here. I had a chance to see him working on it yesterday, and it was really great. Uh, so the bridge kind of comes down like this. You can tell it kind of collapsed here at one point, and we got some stone down here uh, from where it fell. And the, the lake at one time that looks like it maybe used to run all the way through here. Uh, it's kind of gotten broken up, and it's kind of just going underneath the rocks here. It goes back into this pond here, so that looks really great. Uh, also, he's been working a lot on the... Uh, on the uh, the village trader system here. So let's see if I can get up here. And I also want to say that I died uh, an AFK death, and it was it was pretty rough actually. And, and, and yeah, it was uh, I lost some stuff. I I had uh, I had 13 diamonds and I had a pickaxe and I had made an enchanting table, which I did save. I happened to keep in a chest, but I lost my pickaxe, so I made another one. I need to get going here because I've I basically I'm basically been building without uh, having all the tools that I need, but. Yeah, look at this. This thing is awesome. It's It's got this sleek, uh, cut-edge kind of modern design, which is really, really cool, especially since it almost doesn't work with the rest of the style. So this is something that I want to work on with him because he's really got something cool going on here. It's almost like a town that at one time thrived and then kind of disappeared is being rebuilt, and I like what he's done here. So what I'm going to do is kind of work with that. I think what I might do is over here, uh, I'll show you my house here in a minute, which I've been working on. It's mainly just a shell of a house. There's not a whole lot of it, anything inside of it right now, but I'm going to be uh, going out and exploring in this video and trying to find the mesa and trying to get some other materials together. Uh, definitely want to get some concrete because I want to work on some of the house here and add to it. Uh, but yeah, I really like what he's going with here. I might build with him. Uh, maybe we can work on a project together even and creating uh, kind of a new village uh, spanning off from right about where this little island is here where the sand is all the way out and around uh like it's a new town being rebuilt on something that once did thrive and exist but yeah i thought that looked really really cool as you can see here's bridge you kind of go over here and it's broken here so yeah that's really neat and i, I really kind of want to work with him on that and see what we can do uh maybe improve on this area a little bit more uh much like the rest of the uh, the server area over here there's a lot of work being done all the time and I think it'd be nice to maybe extend it a little bit further over here, but let's go on and uh, let's see what uh, what we've gotten accomplished in the last uh, few days here. So you see the path here; it goes uh, underneath the bridge, and it's raining, so it kind of adds a bit of a eerie effect to it. It's kind of spooky, uh, but yeah, you got the water. I did this yesterday. I thought it looked really cool with the bridge, and it just it was lacking something underneath, so I added a little bit more path and broke up some of this wood, added the stone to make it look like it had fallen. Uh, cut some water uh, uh, from the uh, garden that's up there and it streams down underneath here and as does this side here so as you can see the the leaves and the foliage kind of covered up a little bit like it's been overgrown it, it, it almost looks like it, it really wants to continue to uh, to go through so what I might do is actually break this up here uh, and add a little bit of a bridge that's kind of going over like it was something they had to do because this one had fallen and they needed something to go over this water but we'll see if we we get to that in this video maybe we'll do that a little bit later on but uh, for now we're gonna go take a look at uh, what I've been working on here uh, so this is my bridge uh, this is the bridge to the house I've been working on uh, the pathway not the bridge as you can see it's got a lot of trees covering I really wanted to go for the, uh, the, the 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 past been overgrown and it's been worn out through many years of uh, of uh, walking and, and just trails so I thought that looked really cool some dark oak uh, excuse me some dark oak and some regular oak going through here. I thought that looked really cool. You have to forgive me. This is I'm recording very early right now, so my voice is kind of kind of kind of fried, I guess. Um, but yeah, you definitely uh, got the idea here, right? It's kind of worn through, and 
this never did grow i think i need to remove this and maybe build my own tree bring some more uh more leaves over top of it but it definitely feels enclosed it feels almost claustrophobic in here and i kind of wanted to give that impression that it was it was uh it, at one time it was a beautiful beautiful open area but right now everything's grown over and this land is definitely going to see uh has seen better times but will see better times that's the thing i want to see it's being reborn again so yeah this whole thing i'm going to rebuild and put, put some more houses down here i'm going to go for a modern look uh, but yeah, as you can see, the trees just kind of come over here. I really wanted to have that enclosed feeling, like I said. All right, let's continue on this way here. So here's my house. Now it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to see. I have a bed in here, so let's just go upstairs. I'll, I'll show you how it works here. Uh, let's go up here. I think it's nighttime. Too many monsters nearby. Oh, that's not good. Let's just see. Oh, that's not going to be good for anybody. She's probably going to hit me and I'll, I'll be dead. That's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, she dropped the potion. Nice. Anyway, so let's go back out here. And, uh, oh, I still can't sleep. That's okay. You know what? We'll just go out and I'll give you guys a, a bit of a rough idea. And it's definitely not helping with the leg when you got the rain. Uh, but anyway, if you guys can see it all, I'm kind of going for a little bit of a, a dark oak modern look. Uh, so these here are going to be the main doors to get into the house. Uh, as you can see here, I haven't gotten the windows in yet or anything like that. Um, and then there you have this archway here where you can go in through this. This is going to be like the main uh, foyer, the main living area. Uh, this will be all opened up. Um, I'll get rid of these walls here too because I do want this to be a very open area here. Uh, this as well I'll, I'll change. I was just kind of fooling around with some of the orange. Uh, I like the orange concrete as you see here. I just laid some out here. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a garage area. Um, but yeah, I like the orange concrete look. Um, and then so what will happen is um, I'll get rid of these windows as well. Uh, but you're going to come in through the main doors. You can go through this door here or the side door right there. And then what you can do is you can go. Uh, so this will all be gone. Like I said, this is just stuff I was playing around with. But if you go through here, you can go up to the stairs here. Or, or if you come in through this door, uh, you can go up these stairs here, which will bring you to the second level of the house, which is... Uh, just like I said, I'm just working on some things right now. This will be a bit of a balcony, I think. Got some animals down there. I got a creeper down there too, my pet creeper. Oh, and I can finally sleep. Uh, but my main point is, is that this whole house is just going to be a starter of the area that I'm working on right now. Uh, so this is, yeah, like I said, the second level. And this here is the third level. Um, going to do an auto fish farm. I'm thinking about building it in this area here. It's kind of a mess right now. Uh, and then just a little path uh, or a, a little stairway you can go up here and just kind of overlook the, the neighborhood of the rest of the world there so yeah you can see the villager breeder there um this this thing needs a lot of work like i said i've been just kind of playing around with some ideas and when i build I, I just want to warn you now when i start building i change things every two minutes it seems like i'll, I'll like something one minute and then i'll hate it the next but maybe we can get a better better look here uh so it's kind of got a bit of a modern theme i'm gonna be adding some color to it obviously like i said i need to go find a mesa i need to get some more concrete i got a lot of work to do before i'll i'll be done in this house but uh this is stuff I'll work on during live streams and a little bit during the video too. It's just it's monotonous and it can be kind of boring. So I'll just uh, avoid that creeper here. So stay in there, buddy. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is going to be the main uh, floor here. That's right. That's right. You're stuck there. Uh, but this is the main living area. Um, going to be doing the enchantment room. I'm not sure exactly where. It might be just over here. Um, and then, yeah, my backyard here with my, my farm animals. I need cows because I need bookshelves. I need the leather so I can get, make some bookshelves. Uh, this is going to be my basement. Uh, now, in my single-player world, my basement is everything. The house is just aesthetics. There's nothing to it. Like, I never used the actual house itself. It was very modern design. But this is going to be where everything is. So, it's just going to continue to go down probably another 30, 40 blocks. And I'm going to have everything built down there. All my farms and everything like that running underneath ground. Um... And then potentially, I haven't quite decided yet, I might do the fish farm on this level so I can AFK, like, say, like, right here or something. And then have all the chests running down. Um, and then just have all the chests running down this way so I can I can collect all my goods and everything like that. Um, yeah, that's, so that's kind of my plan. You'll see. It's going to be a very, very modern design. It's going to look completely different than the outside of the house. So it's going to be like a dark oak foresty house here. And then uh, everything's going to be very modern underground here. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. But yeah, so if you see this this house go through a lot of changes, as you can see, it kind of already has. Uh, it will continue to do so until I'm happy with it. And then I'll be focusing on the, the lower level of the house, which is why I need to go exploring so I can find some of those materials that I need. 
Okay, so next is, uh, so from what I understand, if I head south, oh, I'm just going to continue to go this way. Uh, if I head south, he was, uh, Out of Time Gaming was telling me if I head south directly, I will be able to find that Mesa. It's not too far away, apparently, so that's good. I need that. Um, I need to get some more leather together so I can get some of these bookshelves created, so I can get that enchanting going. I need levels. I died, like I said, I was AFK, accidentally didn't disconnect from the server, and I got killed by a zombie, so everything despawned, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's one of the things you have to learn when you play on a server as opposed to playing a single player world. world uh, hitting escape does not pause the game, but uh, yeah, so that's it. This is the path. I thought you guys might like the path. I think he did a wicked job with this bridge. Um, looks like everything's overgrowing, uh, but yeah, so my point is that I want to get this place looking like it's uh, being worked on again and the people have come back to it and they want to they want to fix it up uh so this house here is going to be like the mansion at the top of this hill here and then uh yeah like i said the basement's going to be really really cool looking um so yeah when i come back i'm going to be uh, heading south and i'm going to try to find that mesa i need a lot of sand uh eventually get all my diamond tools together so i can finally uh, maybe hit that end city and find some shulker boxes and some more elytra wings because I don't know if I lost my elytra or not. Yeah, I'm not sure if I lost my chickens. Perfect. I got a lot of eggs there. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing is uh, getting the materials together so I can get uh, some more of this build done. I have a lot of... I got this mending book that he gave me out of time gave me, which is perfect. I don't know if I lost my elytra or not. Oh, I hope not. Oh, no, I still have it in my three diamonds. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. And now I'm trapped. Okay, but anyway, guys, when I come back, we're hopefully going to be in the Mesa. Whee! Uh, so I died. Yeah, that's, uh, times had by all. Oh, that's just great. Anyway, so I was told to head south. And now I, I, I swear I was heading south. Now I'm going the wrong way here. Let me just go ahead and turn around. Okay, so I'm heading south. Uh, directly south, I should say. Now... Here's attempt number two. Uh, out of time, just happened to be in the game right now, and I asked him, I said, where exactly was it? He said, just head straight south. Does he mean maybe go down? It's the Mesa Underground. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to try to find that Mesa biome, and when I do, I'll be back. No, 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 I didn't find it, but I did find this way out in the middle of the ocean, and I have gone quite a ways. It's been about 10 minutes since I last recorded, but... Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I didn't know this was out here. We'll take a look before we head back out on the ocean here. Come on. Man. Whose house is this? Sign anywhere? There is a portal here. Hmm. Look in the windows be all creepy. Oh, there's a cow living there. That's That's nice. I want to snoop a little bit though. Let's go inside and take a look. Get a snoop, right? Good. Yeah. There's some chicken in here, some eggs, some stone tools. This is uh, uh somebody's uh, hideaway here. Get this. Thing. Huh. Interesting. I mean, it looks nice, but it seems a bit odd just to be out here in the middle of uh, middle of nowhere. Look at the cords. Huh. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to continue to head south and uh, see where it brings us. Should I try this? No, I don't, I'm not going to risk it. I could go through here, but... Mm, I'll just go back on There we go. Found it. Yeah, literally. Uh, you can't see it anymore. It's in the distance. That house is just maybe like 100 blocks that way, if that. Yeah, found it. So that's great. Uh, nighttime. I wonder if out of time's gonna sleep. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. Anyway, so I found it. I found the uh, the mesa, as you can see here. Um, and this is kind of where everybody's been digging. You can tell they haven't left a whole lot of hardened clay in this area. I'm assuming that's probably why this is all hollowed out here. But uh, there's a beacon way up there too, so I might go and check that out and. Because I'm using uh, iron, it's going to be pretty slow. But that if that is haste, which I'm assuming it probably is, that might actually help quite a bit getting some of this. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there and uh, see if it is haste too. And that would be really great. I don't even see a beacon on it anymore. It's just the actual pyramid itself. Hello, creeper. You just uh, go over this way. 
All right, here's hoping. Nah, I think I would have been in uh, line of sight by now if it actually was a haste too. If it was even a beacon anymore. Hmm. Character, what did you have to say? There was nothing wrong with hardened clay. I don't get it. What's the deal with... Yeah. Anyway, so let's go up here and see what we can find. I really do want to get some of this hardened clay. And... Hello? A bit weird. A lot of, that's a lot of iron, though. Huh. Some bones here. I could definitely use more bones. Let's go up here and find out. Now there's just some arrows up here. Huh. Well, I guess I could start uh, mining out some of this here. And then when I come back, we'll be back at my base. If I, if I don't die that. Well, either way. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well guys, that's about as much digging as I can do. I've gone through about four or five iron pickaxes, which isn't really that much when it comes to hard play. But I gotta get this stuff back to my main base, start dyeing it, and hopefully adding to my, my color scheme, because right now the dark oak just isn't cutting it. But for now guys, I'll see you later, and we'll see you in the next video.